Hello everybody, welcome to the NAF Rules Cup second round match. We've got Doom Fox with his Dark Elves here, black and white, very nice, versus Will King with pink lizards, lovely. And in the booth is Jimmy G the champ, hello. Hello, hello Jimmy, hello everybody. Hmm. Yes, hello. Oh, interestingly, uh, Will King is receiving the ball, but not with a chameleon skink. He's keeping that on the bench. He's gone for the 12 players, only two rerolls build. Which, you know, interesting, interesting matchup, I think. Lizards versus Dark Elves, you know, it's not it's not as one-sided as people would have you believe. Um, elves versus Lizards, and Will King's got an interesting wrinkle with this guard blocker, rather than just all block. And uh, we've just seen Doom Fox's team, which is pretty standard, except for this leader runner. Could have been a dodge runner. And he's a, some people go for 12 players. And he's gone for 11 plus an apple and with an assassin as well as a runner. So it's super interesting, isn't it? When you say one sided, Jim, you mean one sided to the dark elves? Yes, people often people say, yeah. like, you know, uh, lizard struggle versus elves, and I, I think it's a lot closer to 50 50 than people would have you believe. Like, wood elves are kind of worse because you can't stop them leaping in and coming for your balls. But uh, Dark Elves, I don't think, are as one. And even even then, I think, like, you know, versus Wood Elves, it's not as one-sided as people would have you believe. But it's definitely... Oh, really? Not, yeah, it's definitely not that one-sided with Dark Elves. But yeah, e even Wood Elves, I don't think, is that bad for Lizards. Interesting. Mm. I like the crazy, the crazy pink. <laughs> you like you like crazy colours though. You, you said this the other day about the. Is it quiet at all? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. That was that was mental team. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just like something that you can notice. You know, whereas like like all the cosmetics, like who cares if they've got like you know an extra spike on the shoulder pad? Give me like crazy oh, yeah. glowy helmets and stuff. So there's been some banging, but uh, nothing too bad. You heard it here first, chat. Jim likes a crazy helmet. <laughs> Purple helmets are the best, aren't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Comes through, hit the skinks. That's what he read on Reddit. We've got to blitz the skinks and everything will be all right. <clears throat> I mean, it's not a bad strategy. I mean, that's the, the, the thing is, like, it can work out, right? Like, I don't think it's a great strategy, but it can work. So, it's kind of annoying when, when like, you play elves and they start blitzing your skinks every turn. Like, you know, making dodges and stuff to hit them, because at the end of the day, if they do remove your skinks, you do, you do start to struggle. Oh, goodness, he didn't make it three dice. He does both down. And... Uh, is this gonna make the elves go in? Was this a, a little bit of bait? It wasn't. Ah. Oh, it's just gonna get punched. Getting punched is good. Mmm. Oh wow, he appeared from inside the Croxigo there. <laughs> So he could, yeah, he could blitz up. Like, I, I wouldn't have hated blitzing back, right? Blitz this guy and then block this one. But I guess he wants to get forward. <coughs> it's completely reasonable to get forward. Only three. turn three. But, like, versus elves, you really don't want to, like, you, you want to go for, like, a safe safe cage and that don't you and this is nice isn't it he's got the Vengal bus going I don't think it's as necessary versus Dark as it is versus Woodies but it's okay When was this played? This was played recently right? I think it was somewhat recently yeah more recent than the other two that we were looking at 
It's the pal. Hasn't hasn't hurt these skinks at all yet, just quietly. No, it's bad, isn't it? You just mm. kind of expect them to die. Hmm. I mean, I've definitely had games where the first three times my sinks got hit, they got cast <laughs> Okay, KO'd. Yeah. Least. And if that had been the case, you'd have been really struggling now, Will King. But, uh, he survived the skink hits. Not the case, and he's cruising. Mm. Well, I'll say cruising. Cruising for a bruising. Hasn't made any rules of his own, has he? Nah, pillow like fist. I think the last few games we've seen have been so bloody. Like. <laughs> yeah. Getting lots of blocks though here. Like a lot of contact from Doom Fox without a lot of pressure, right? Like it's still a very, very safe cage. And it's just all the guys on the periphery are getting punched by Saurus and the Crocs. Well, I mean, obviously, they're fucking stupid, but. Not ideal. Yeah. You don't want, like, you know, Saurus punching your dudes every turn. Oh, frenzy trap. Push into a wanna. And skulls. And a lovely bit of justice there. Burns a reroll. Oh, wow, justice. <laughs> All around the houses. Yeah, this is not great, right? Just getting like he's okay. The Saurus are based, but you know the Saurus are just punching you. They're quite happy just punch you every turn, like all these blocks. It doesn't bother the Saurus at all. Yeah, it's got to get like three squares forward though. He does, yeah. But he's, you know, he's got enough to still protect the ball here. Interesting blitz. I was going to say, you want to activate the crocs to know where he's, where, whether he's moving or I guess it's... Hmm, I mean, I, I would have rather just blitz this guy right and then move back and then just too deep with it. This guy hasn't moved and he, he could have had the block. Yeah. This is just a what? Five is it? Yeah. No. Oh I didn't take it. I, see. I think I would have picked that. No? Is there a dodger down the bottom? Uh, there's dodgers around the top. Ah uh, okay. Oh, double skulls. This is what you get for punching skinks every turn. <laughs> you do nothing to them and use a reroll. <laughs> so yeah, he has been a bit unlucky on the skink punching. Get it's a pow. Bosh. Dead? No. Of course not. Of course not. Oh no, it's pushed him onto the guy. Mm. Yeah, Wilkin looks fine here. There's loads of room over the right and there. He's just... Yes, he needs to dodge. Space. Oh, yeah. I mean, he would have failed the dodge, but he needed to dodge that lino out in cutting to the halfway line off the skinks to make him at least punch something. Yeah, there's there's a massive amount of space both sides, right? Like you could just switch to the yeah, switch either way. This looks pretty comfortable. Maybe that was a reset turn. Mm. So good spot for the crocs there, isn't it? On these three. Oh, it doesn't go in. I really like the crocs going into these three. I know they've all got dodge, but still, they can't really deal with him. And like, it's pretty far forward and nice. I really like that, actually. As it is, this is an instant 2 on the ball. I guess he's going to dodge here at the end. It's not three two pluses to do the ball. And he fails that dodge. I mean, you've got to go for this. I think three two pluses to do the ball. Could maybe block there and then go around this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Yeah. So this guy could do it with block, right? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven years, nine years. Yeah, this is probably what he's going to do. The fact that he hasn't done it with him. This is better, isn't it? A really nice. <clears throat> it's some sort of recovery. I mean, you've got you've got L's if, unless you activate them all doing this. You had L's at the front. Or he cuts the Crocs corner, which is a bit greedy. <laughs> like it's not oh. bad, right? Because it means he's got is more likely of having the rerolls left for like the hit and the stuff. It's just that you face with an eleven percent fail instead of a three percent fail. Seven. Oh. Fuck me, guys. I mean, if you can get the ball back, he's all right. You need to pow. Oh no, he can just push and then hit with the crocs. Yeah. But still, he needs to. <laughs> don't know. Oh my god, dub skulls. Um, the problem here is if he potatoes. He just gets caught, doesn't he? And he kind of has to potato. To be in well, no, but no, he's not scoring, yeah. That's not in range? No, it's not in range, no. So he's just backing himself to turn over the delfs and... Oh no, he's got that guy in range. Wow, he's not in range. <laughs> no, he's being powered instantly. <laughs> Glad that he took the block and the stab. Hmm. Is that an assassin? That was an assassin, wasn't it? Yeah, that's an assassin. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy that didn't like stabbing in the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Pushed him back. Skulls. Into a full oh. pow. It's turn seven as well, he might get the counter score. Oh, here. he's put it next to the crocs to go. Oh. Why didn't he put it? Oh. I don't know. I failed the pickup anyway. Probably should have like did this guy. Move? That guy is scoring for it. Yeah, he yeah. hadn't moved. No, he hadn't moved. Yeah, he should have been going. going for it. Yeah. Yeah. He has I mean, got he's two got down. Two as well, but they can get banged all very easy. Right, he's banged. Can he still? Is he still in range? Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. No reroll though. Oh, which gets surfed as well. Kaz. Definitely don't. Yeah, not worth. Yeah, maybe the witch elf should have tried to become a scoring threat first, right? Mmm. And then that gets her off the sideline, stops it being surfed. I mean, can't do anything about failing the pickup, but. Oh, and a KO as well. Jesus. In a way, both teams are going to be a little bit happy about this, right? There's the cast, the cast witch elf, and they're not going in one nil down for Will King, <laughs> and then for Doom Fox, he stopped the score and uh, also isn't going in one nil down. So there is the FO. Oh, right before the witch gets powered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's getting murdered. <laughs> There's still a chance this guy can score. He's a blitz. Yeah, don't. Alright. Gets him in the end Oh zone. my god. It's gonna be like a 6 plus pass, probably. Maybe it's 5 plus. What was it? 6 plus, six plus pass. It's, it's brutal, man. It's really shit. That the fucking health pass it, I think. No, I love it. <laughs> it may Fuck be hell. better for balance, but Fuck it's hell, just to uh, me. it's just sad. it's just sad. I think it's just sad that we can't do it anymore. It's not sad. It's the happiest thing ever. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All you elf coaches, do one. <laughs> oh, time out. Touch back. That's pretty good for the Dark Elves, to be fair. Time yeah. out. I don't think that. Yeah, very nice. It's not for the 1-0 very nicely. It hits the skink again. Oh. 
screen for the mm. half decker. Which... This is just a screen, isn't it? This isn't even a decker or a half decker. It's just a screen. Oh yeah, but it's like a decker, but one way you get blitzed every turn. <laughs> 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 Which isn't so good. Three D blitz with the crocs, hopefully. No. Just power bludger. Just Easy. One, two, yeah. Would have KO'd if it had been on the crocs, just quietly. That's a witch. Lots of pressure. Yeah. Would have rather like been tagging these two with the crocs, right? Because they haven't got dodge, so now they're three plus without dodge, so it's like much better, like whereas the if you Which has dodge, yeah, yeah, if you're dodging anybody from the crocs, you want it to be you want it to be the guy with dodge. Religiously smacking these skinks and doing absolutely nothing. nothing to them. <laughs> absolutely nothing. You'll do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually amazing how, how unlucky he's been hitting skin. <laughs> the problem is, if he fails this assassin dodge, oh, it's alright. Oh my god, he's just left a gaping hole. There is a gaping hole. I don't think he's fast enough, though, to be fair. Um, let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, he can just touch him. Not fast enough. But touching him is okay, but I guess you don't have double GFI. You could just blitz the leader and then sit with somebody on him. Get on the ball, yeah. Pray for a 1 in 36. Yeah. It's pretty much what you have to do against Dark Elves, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I hope you snake. Yeah, base everything and hope they If snake. not, GG. <laughs> Basically. And then when you base everything, they just smash you to pieces. Yes. They're, they're just blocking you back all the time. Yeah. And then you're like, you got out removed by elves. And it's like, <laughs> yes. Because they took 75 blocks and I took two because I was just basing them while they just <laughs> dodged off and hit me all game. Yep. Yep, exactly like this. <laughs> uh. That's a bit spicy. Yeah, he's in a bit of a pickle. Oh, and he's failed a one in nine. Well, now, now we're talking. Now we're going to get hit on the ball, surely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, easy 2D on the ball. Right at the push, he wants to put the crocs on it. Mm. Right, it's a blitter as well, so we I wouldn't re that, honestly. Oh, I don't think I would have either. Mm -hmm. I thought that was incredibly... Maybe he thinks that just if he doesn't get him, he's gone. Yeah, but he can he can, he can can put a skink in front, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he can run this way. Yeah, so he's got the skink in front. He just needs to try and get something out back as well. Oh, that was a rowdy 3+. Yeah. He did that 3 plus dodge before he moved the Saurus. Yeah, I moved, just didn't see that it was a dodge. Yeah, this guy is too slow in here. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. GFI, GFI. Yeah, we just, dodged the, we just dodged the ball carrier and blitz the skink with the ball carrier, didn't we? No? We have uphill, 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 uphill with crocs. Yeah. And then blitz and dodge. Oh, he doesn't blitz the skink. It's coming in, still storming. Jesus Christ, I know I'm the one who talks about turn 4 panic, but holy shit, I'm panicking right now. <laughs> yeah, I would have definitely. I would have blitzed him just to get away from the crocs as much as anything. Uh, like, knocking down the crocs is amazing, so that makes the blitz even better. Yeah, he needs to get some uh, penetration. Yeah, yeah, he's lacking. Lacking the old penetration here. Double penetration, yeah. You don't need double penetration. 
Well, if you, in case they knock over one of your bits of penetration, you've got a secondary bit of penetration that you can carry on penetrating with. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, smash the leader. Yep. So Wouldn't have hit him if he had dodge. Wouldn't have hit him if he had dodge. He's fine. I'm relentlessly base. Oh my god, lizards are just so obnoxious, aren't they? Yep. He has Probably. left that witch alone on the right, though. Yes. And she is faster than that Saurus. And now, finally, they're getting punched by the lizards every turn. Pays dividends. Ooh. Right, how the flip do we get out of this? Yeah, I think he should have pushed forward earlier, as you said. It's, he's in a lot of trouble now. Like He's only got two turns after this, and he's just not going oh, near scoring now. Oh my god, shadowing. <laughs> like he's basically having to hand off to that witch elf. This is his only way to score. Glorious uphill. It's uh... Uh, I don't think so, no. Is he going to do the 3 plus? Oh, he hasn't blitzed. He no, didn't blitz. Didn't blitz. Just didn't blitz, no. Oh, he could have smashed the skink. Yeah, and that, done, that and done nothing. Just, yeah, which else should have just started with a blitz? Probably shouldn't she? Any of them. Mm. But like, the, the witch have like, dodged away from the skink, I think. So. She just blitzed him. What, what a fascinating game of Blood Bowl. Yes. Very fascinating. This skin has to stand here. Okay, no. I think here, right? Because he's only got two turns. So he's going to go. Got to get forward, hasn't he? And this this square is brilliant because it stops both of them getting forward, and he stopped both of them getting back. Oh, one day. But he hasn't stopped either of them getting forward, and and that square stops both of them getting forward. Oh, he's got the free plus. Oh no, it's not free plus. He's got the jump now. One, two. No, three, I was gonna three, say, three. just jump. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, looking yeah. at the jump the other way. Oh, hey, he does the jump. Oh. It's two G. He's gone one square too far forward, didn't he? Oh, I guess he has to get in range. Yeah, he had to do it again, range. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now he's left the dodge. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then both of these, because he didn't have the skink there. Right? I mean, they could have come back. Well, he could have had one there, right? He could have had this one here, which would have stopped them coming back. And then that, this one had to be here. That was the correct square. Oh correct. my god, he's, a, he's done it, hasn't he? Has he got any rerolls left? He's got two rerolls for two GFIs. Yeah, he's good. So, unless there's a. I don't know. A Saurus dodge? It's looking pretty, or, or like a snake. A Saurus Dodger, a snake is the only thing stopping snake, yeah, Doom snake. Fox here. I mean, he should be Saurus Dodging, right? Like, he hasn't got anyone left to Saurus Dodge now. Here's the snake. Yeah. Could have just pressed end turn. Would <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> done better. Oh, here we go. Here we go. In. In. Two and a five. Wow. Well, I hate, uh, I hate, I hate it when people make GFIs like that easy. Yeah, me too. Disgusting. Like I wouldn't have tried four GFIs having three rerolls. I'm like, that's really too. That's too hard to do four GFIs. <laughs> you only needed one. There is like a one turn chance or a. Uh... Has he got a reroll? He's got one reroll. One He's reroll. got the uh, what's it called as well? The convenient. Yeah. Oh, that kick is deep. Oh, it's not that deep. It's not, not deep, deep enough. No, not deep enough. Quick snap. Did not. So this is one thing. Right, this guy is here. Right. Which is not doing anything. This skink's on here. Then you can think about your quick snap, right? And then you can come forward. So that's something to think about when you're setting up one turns. 
um, is to have also this is the, going the wrong way right it looks like he's blitzing in and then knocking up this way he wants to do it the other way so he can use him as the extra hit um, but yeah th this skink should have been like oh there's a player there so this skink should have been like here right like this guy could have been a skink there or a skink there so you can like have a player here so you can like think about using the quick snap it's something that think you want to use the quick snap if you possibly can because um, it's very very good so going for the four plus handoff gets it and now we're on three dices to uh, get the pushes which is pretty good isn't it pretty good for this is the this is probably worth setting up the um, the you know like the proper defense because it's just too easy for skinks to uh yeah for like this is to get the three dices it's easier for this is to get pushes than others when they've got three dice and then i guess you with nine players you can't really do the uh push denial either can you gets the power on the third one which is perfect and now he's got some threes with dodge and one team reroll as well oh fails the rush and gets it oh. <clears throat> so overtime it is overtime yeah fuck me looked over did look over and the lizards win the toss but no re no wait and dark elves won the toss oh my god yeah I just I'm an idiot you are Jim yeah. Yeah, thanks <laughs> thanks Tim he said it he um, hasn't tagged the crocs as well oh uh, yeah that would have been a big gets a touch back again <laughs> does doom fox but yeah, with two rerolls versus none. Oh, Will King won a won a reroll on the on the kickoff event. Did he? Yeah, he's got one now. Look, he was on zero. He used his last reroll to score. No, I think. Uh... Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. Of course he did. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Rush for it. Yeah. Well, this is this is this is weird. This non daka daka. Non daka daka. Non daka daka. I really don't like just getting punched. And everything based <laughs> instead of just being, you know, too far away. I'd definitely much rather be, you know, backs to my own end zone right now. Anywhere but here. Anywhere but just getting smashed by Soros, yeah. Again, I prefer That's the crocs in this side to get, you know, on two non dodge, but I really do prefer the crocs on non dodge. If at all possible. Because you know, like turning a one in thirty-six into a one in nine isn't isn't really that good, is it? But a one in six into a one in three is massive. But see, look, you rolled a two, and uh, and like you know, especially as it might use a team reroll that if it fails, it's really good, isn't it? Whereas popping the dodge skill doesn't cost them anything. And for early penetration. Yeah. Yeah. He's very tight the sideline though, isn't he? Yeah. And these are just going back. Mm. Not sure I'm a fan of this. From Doom Fox. I think that. Saurus, I would have pulled back. Like up to here. Yeah. Now you're just having to put skinks there to hold it. Doesn't have to be his crocs. It would have been a pretty terrible bonehead. It's a rush. Flip me. He's oh, used two rerolls oh. on this one play. <laughs> oh god. And then double. And it wasn't a double. Yeah, it wasn't a double. Won the dodge. Oh my god. Like it, that was. It was a weird play though, right? Because he was geofying to hit him, which 
you know, he's got to use a team reroll. Which if, so if you're going to do a two plus anyway, you might as, as well just might as well be the dodge, right? Gotcha. And then just get this guy up and away and get this guy's got a two plus out. This guy's got a two plus out. Like, just get up and away. It seems weird to me mess around blitzing a Saurus to, like, chain push his guy one forward and save a dodge when you, you know, you're doing a two plus without without a re team, without a skill reroll to save a two plus with a skill reroll. So, you, okay, you can argue the fail state slightly better, but not really. If you fail this GFI, your ball carry is getting surfed and you lose. So, yeah, you should have de definitely just done it with a ball. Definitely should have just done it with a ball. Oh, no. That is a weird one, to be fair. Yeah, now this is this guy's getting surfed. Will King should probably be playing a bit safer, right, with, with uh, no rewards. He should probably be moving that skink first, like all of his safe moves first, within reason. Like, definitely the skink could have moved somewhere else already. Oh, just goes for the pickup. Ballsy! 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 Yeah, there's like things he should have done there was like like move that guy first before he went and pick up. This skin could have come around there before that block and stuff to like uh you know, in case he dub scold. Things like that, you just gotta like anticipate everything failing once you've got no rewards. Obviously that can't mean you can't do you know, some things, but it means you've got to like be prepared. Much more Always annoying. be prepared, Jimmy. That's what they told me in the beavers. The beavers is for girls, Jimmy. No, it's not. Yeah, it's the cubs that's for boys. No, beavers are for younger than cubs. Are they? Yeah. I'm pretty sure beavers are for... <laughs> why, why did he move the crocs? The crocs was already there as a cage corner. That was why he was moving there, I thought. That was really weird. Beavers are before the Cubs, definitely. Beavers, Cubs, Scouts, there you go. And, oh, is it? Yeah. There you go, look, Amenable Ethics was a beaver too. Steve knew the truth. <laughs> Steve the beaver. <laughs> I don't know if Steve was a beaver, but he, he said... <laughs> he says Beavers, Cubs, Scouts. Oh, there's the Dub Skulls. BV Steve. <laughs> Beef Steve. Steve the Beef. BV Steve. <laughs> Briefly a beaver. <laughs> Briefly beaver Steve. <laughs> Steve the Breathe Breathe <laughs> Beaver. <laughs> I was a beaver once. Oh my god, he's fucking he's shadowed twice with his fucking chameleon skink. <laughs> they roll all the dice and hitting him, but just didn't get him down on four dice with Wessel. Comedy Mega. Turn twenty one. Do you bang it in here as uh Will King? Just because you know, like you guaranteed the draw, yeah. Yeah, he's got a he's got a reroll now, though. Oh my god, he's got a reroll. I forgot that he got the reroll. So I've been saying, oh, he hasn't got any rerolls, but he does have a reroll. So maybe it was okay to be a little bit uh, liberal. Lax, I suppose, yeah. So you don't score because now you do. I'm just going to try and stall that out with, with, the, with a reroll. Your equity increases massively, doesn't it? Like, it's just huge that you, you, you're just at the mercy of the dice. Like, I hate having no rerolls. Yeah, it's, it's horrific. Horrific. What a turnaround this, this, this game, eh? It really looked like. Doomfoxes win and then he won the toss in overtime and he had two rerolls to none and then and then Will King got a reroll and then yeah that was And he's really only unique to the but one turn on, wasn't it? Yeah he should have probably set up better for the one turn. Huh? Maybe it was tough though with only nine players, it was tough to set up for one turn. 
Yeah, but it's like the back line against Stunty. Yeah, it's and worse, it's... yeah. Yeah. And he does need three pushes, so push denial at least stops the Saurus getting three dice as well, so yeah. The back line well, seems the worst against uh, Wizards of all teams. Your chat's full of beavers tonight, Jim. <laughs> Glorious beavers. They should build a dam. Yeah. Yeah, this has got to feel harsh for Doomfox, man. This was like one and then lost and then yeah. one and then one again and then lost again. Yep. Glorious crocs punching things. This is the thing, you know, lots of people say like, oh yeah, if you get your big guy in the right spot and then don't activate him, it's really good. But it's really fucking good smashing the fuck out of things with strength five and uh, might be really not, so. I'll remember that tomorrow and then I'll Kaz one of my own players and then <laughs> double skull. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, Jim says activating the big guy is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'll come home, I'll be like, I lost the tournament because I activated my big guy. <laughs> Cast my garter runner with Blotch. <laughs> Killed my own garter on turn one. <laughs> See, I've been clever, Jim, I haven't taken a garter. <laughs> oh man, that was incredible. Well. Can Doom Fox? No, he's not. He can't do the one turn. No. <laughs> no, that was a swift answer, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Instantly ends the turn. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and, uh, so there you go. Congratulations, Will Kill. Incredible <laughs> performance uh, knocking out Doom Fox. And uh, yeah. Any thoughts, Dimbo? Uh, I'm happy Dark Elves are out. But I'm less happy lizards are through. <laughs> Fair enough. I think. I think. Fair I enough. prefer dark elves than lizards in the final. But you know. Yeah. So that's working through. Oh, do you know what? I can edit this myself now that it's a JPEG. I, I will do. Oh, that's that's very good. Right. Well, there you go. There, there's the tournament. Apart from the games that we've done. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> 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 it was it was it after round one more or less, and but now I'll keep it updated in future before and after the games that we do. Now that I've realised I can keep it updated. Um, so yeah. the tournament, apart from all the games that we've just had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Cheers, Jim. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Tim. Right, thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>